in the Cradle by Harry Chapin is one of the best songs to sing along with. It's a pretty safe bet this song has been stuck in your head at some point. I'm Jack Murphy, and this is one of those songs that was always requested on the radio during my DJ career. But what is this song all about? Let's put it to the test. Is it A, a literal cat? That's my hope, anyway. B, Chapin's relationship with his own son. C, depression. Or D, being a better father. So, it's not about a cat, but we are required to show a cute little cat since this is YouTube. Consider that box checked. Cats in the Cradle is a 1974 song by American singer-songwriter Harry Chapin. It was a single off of his multi-platinum album, Verities and Boulderdash. One common misconception about Cats in the Cradle is that the song is autobiographical and based on Harry Chapin's relationship with his own son. However, while Chapin did have a son named Josh, is not autobiographical. Another misconception is that the song is purely a sad or depressing song. Bye. Although it is kind of sad and depressing. While the lyrics do explore the themes of regret and the passing of time, the melody is actually quite upbeat and the song ultimately carries a message of the importance of prioritizing time with loved ones. Actually, the song is based on a poem written by his wife, Sandy, about her first husband's relationship with his father. The song, of course, tells the story of a father who's too busy to spend time with his son, and the son grows up to be just like his father, also too busy to spend time with him. The song is often seen as a commentary on the work-life balance and, and the importance of spending quality time with a loved one. I'm surprised it hasn't become more popular with today's younger generation as that seems to be something they crave. The song was a big commercial success and became one of Chapin's most well-known and beloved songs. It even had the top spot on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 in December when it peaked at number one. The number two song was Kung Fu Fighting by Carl Douglas. Hey, huh. They just don't make music like they used to. It's been covered by many artists over the years, such as Darren McDaniel, better known as DMC from Run DMC, and Sarah McLaughlin. And of course, Sarah McLaughlin would like for you to adopt that cat which you saw earlier in this video. Now, I'll never forget the day I was on the air as a radio DJ when I heard the news that Harry Chapin had been killed in a car wreck on the Long Island Expressway. Strangely enough, while driving a Volkswagen Rabbit which I'm sure Sarah McLaughlin would also like for you to adopt. So the answer to our trivia question is D, being a better father. Which, by the way, the United States leads the world in single mothers at a 23% rate. That's not a stat you want to be leading the world in. To all the prospective fathers out there, please listen to this song. We hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a like and don't forget to subscribe or we're going to drop off a load of dogs and cats that haven't been adopted yet at your house. Right now... I gotta go feed the three I have here at my house. Until next time, remember, rock and roll never forgets. The cats in the